guests in a moment. First of all, though, we are talking movies and showbiz. Now, Jonathan Zorin from LBS Films in Hereford, uh, well known for their horror movies. They've, they've kind of branched out this time. It's not necessarily in the horror genre, but I think, I think it's gripping. It's certainly not a comedy. OK, but there, well, there, there is kind of a, a, a human side to it this time. I mean, I've watched some of Jonathan's horror movies in the past and good grief. The man is seriously disturbed <laughs> to come up with these ideas. I mean, that's what we say about the makers of these movies. Honestly, the creativity, the awful creativity that entertains us in a really awful way, she says excitedly. Um, so it's a chance now to get involved in this film. It's called Derelict. Um, we're going to hear about the film in part two of our chat. But now I wanted to catch up. Uh, first of all, I wanted to catch up with Jonathan because um, we want to talk about the last film that he made, which we discussed on this show in detail. It was called Wyvern Hill. How did that go? What did he learn from the experience of putting his first ever feature film out there? Uh, a feature film made in Herefordshire and set in Herefordshire as well, hence the title Wyvern Hill, which has local connotations. Um, anyway, Jonathan popped into the studio to tell me about his current crowdfunding project and how we can all get involved in this new movie, Derelict. It's on Indiegogo if you want to look it up. If you type in Indiegogo, I think there's more than one Derelict on there, but it's the only film, and if you put in Hereford, it'll come up that way. Um, so Jonathan popped into the studio, actually, uh, and I said, Welcome, Jonathan. How are you? I'm good. And yourself? Yeah, really good, thank you. Good. It's nice to have guests back in. <laughs> the last time we spoke, you were talking about your epic horror movie, mm. Wyvern Hill. Yes, I was. Uh, a feature film. It was, yeah, feature film. Is that, was that, is that your first feature film? It was our first feature, That's yeah. right, that's yeah. right. And, of course, just to recap, it was set in Herefordshire and filmed there. It was. Uh, it was over a period of uh, 26 days, I believe, or 25, I can't remember exactly. Mm. Yeah. How's it doing? It's doing all right. It's been released in the US. Uh, we're waiting for release in other countries. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's doing all right in terms of numbers, the trailer has been seen an absolute ridiculous amount of time on on Britflix. Um, so, so, so can you you can get figures on that? Yeah, I mean it's it's constantly changing. The last time I looked, I think we were still in the top ten of their most viewed uh, trailers for that month. I think we we're number three. Um, so how many people have seen it? I don't know. Like hundreds of thousands. The trailer, at least. Yeah. I don't know how many people have seen the film. That's hard to tell. Right. But, um, the trailer has been seen. A lot, yeah. Is there any bonus to you? The more, I mean, obviously you make films, you want people to watch them, mm -hmm. but do you like? Is it like per viewing, you get a bit of money, or how does it no. work? You no. basically got to get someone to fund the movie it, in the first yeah, place. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a tricky thing. You, uh, I mean, the 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 film industry is, um, especially for independents, it's quite a tricky thing. You are not really. The way that, for example, big studio films work is that they they have their distribution assured in a sense because the studio will deal with the distribution they'll put the film out there they'll send the dcps to the theaters they'll they'll build the dvds the blu-rays they'll do deals with the streaming channels all of that is included when you start the, the studio film that you're making but when you're making an indie film you have no idea uh what the distribution is going to be like at the back end of your of your film so you make your film and then you figure out distribution uh and we went with with a, a company whose name i will uh, not mentioned, but um, mm. went with a company, and the problem is, as 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 an independent, you're 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 weak. You know, you have so nothing. So they they no didn't do it. You. They didn't do it right. Well, they didn't do it right. No, I think they they sold they mm. sold the film. They sold the wrong film to the wrong audience. The, the thing with art, any art, is yeah, it's not you, it's not going to please everyone. No, it's not going to please everyone. But also, you as a creative you 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 aim for a, i think you aim especially if you're making a smaller film you aim for a very particular audience you you have to know your audience that's the thing and if you you know if you're trying to sell, sell a steak to a vegetarian there is mm -hmm. never going to be <laughs> a, a good level of appreciation for it okay so did you learn stuff from that i did yeah right and i also learned that you know because we still haven't mm -hmm. made a single penny on on this film despite the the numbers um yeah that's... That, that's that's the cost of being an indie and of, uh, indie means independent filmmaker. Yeah, yeah. What's the scene? What's it like being in Hereford as an independent filmmaker? I mean, is it showbiz enough there for you? No, but that's great. Okay, because you you stand out. <laughs> yes, you do, you do, and also people are very excited when you do things. Um, you know, we we did that. Um, 
we're doing that crowdfunding now for our new film and um it it got uh, it somehow got in the Hereford Times. I think our manager did a did a press release. But um, I got contacted by I don't know how many people that want to be a part of it because all of a sudden it's like oh, oh on, something is right. Happening. So that so that is it basically is the showbiz event in Hereford. Yeah. Then it's kind of thing. Well, nobody else is doing that. What we're doing in Hereford, no. So mm. and especially not on that level and not getting especially not getting films distributed worldwide and being seen on, on those numbers. Nobody nobody is doing that in Hereford, no. Okay. This sounds really exciting. Mm. So you mentioned crowdfunding, you mentioned a lot of people getting in touch wanting to get involved. Yeah. How is the funding going and how can we support? It's going great. So we're we're now on day I think we're on day day ten now today, as we record this interview. And we've raised twelve thousand pounds already, and uh, we're looking to raise. Congratulations! That's more you. than a grand a day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's very good. We're doing well. Yeah. Um, and what's how much do you need? What's the budget? We're looking to raise thirty. Okay, so you're not not far off. Only well, almost 10 days halfway. In. Almost halfway. Uh, it's not bad. We do we do still need you know we do still need the help and there's um we we designed a campaign where people can can get something for their money almost immediately. If okay. they choose the right the right book, so they don't even have to wait for the for the film to be finished. They can, they can get themselves a, a Blu-ray or a link or something like that for when the film is finished. But we have, we also have designed a campaign where people can get their hands on on uh, some um, some designs that we did for the film, some drawings, some art, some posters. So there's, so there's all sorts of things that people can get for their money. Um, right, so they get involved, they, they help fund the movie yeah. and then they feel a bit part of it. Yeah, mm. the, I mean, we, we, we put them in the credits and uh, we also have an option to be an extra, so you pay a little bit of money, you come on set, you meet the, the crew, you meet the cast, you eat with us, you, you go to the pub with us at the end of the day, so there's all sorts of, there's all sorts of good things that, 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 can, that can come out but of it. But that could potentially be quite a crowd. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay. the, the more the merrier. You know, this yeah. is this is the way that we work um, with my company, LBS Films. Is that we 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 really are a, a kind of community ori- oriented uh, company. We we do right. like our community. We love uh, Hereford. And this and so so fundamentally, you're involving the people of Hereford in this project. Well, that's what we're trying to do as much as possible. Yes, absolutely. We we are trying to, whenever possible keep things local so for example all our, our i was talking about our design and our poster and, and all that stuff that's designed by a by a local artist mark stewart who's doing all of that um so he's done he's done some production designs some drawings he's he painted our poster which is um which we also have on the on the campaign as a unique purchase opportunity there is not two of them there is one of them that that original Ooh. painting is on is on for sale at the moment and right, it's and absolutely it's beautiful all yeah well i can imagine mm. it because i know that the artwork you had on your last mm. movie it's a big part of, of it yeah, absolutely this is all raising funds for, you know much yeah. important funds because you know films don't make themselves no they don't <laughs> and uh, the thing the thing for me is uh, like i said so the community thing is um because none of that money is going in my pocket uh, probably the only one that's mm. not getting paid on this project. But the whole idea is to be able to pay local actors, to pay local artists, to pay local venues, to pay local um, settings so that we can shoot there. And so this money is going to go back in the in the community. Um, that's brilliant. So this is, really is a community project. Yeah. Where, what's the crowdfunding website? Uh, so we're on Indiegogo. Indiegogo. Uh, you have to be careful. There is more than one project called Derelict. I think we're the only film mm. called Derelict. Right, that's what I was going to say. What's the title of the film? So is the that title the, is the, Derelict. The final title, that's yeah. what it's going to be. Yeah. Derelict, the, the movie. And yeah. your film company is? Is LBS Films. LBS. So I'm pretty sure if you type on the, on the uh, browser, Derelict, Jonathan Zora, LBS Films, Hereford, Indiegogo. <laughs> that's right. There's still a lot to remember, but yeah, I mean, to just a combination of those words, and I'm mm. pretty sure that it, it's easy to find enough. I think, and then or we can join in, get get our list name on the list for coming down to the set and being an extra and have Absolutely. a drink with you guys. Absolutely. After. All you got to do is write derelict movie in the Indiegogo website, indiegogo.com. I've shared it on my Facebook as well. Jonathan Zorin, filmmaker from Hereford there, obviously not originally from Hereford, you can tell by his accent, but he's a Herefordshire boy now. We've sort of adopted him. The movie is called Derelict, inspired by a true story. Derelict is a harrowing and violent revenge thriller. What's it about? So the film... 
Uh, he's learned a heck of a lot. And I think he's poised, ready for a big success on this one. He's asking... Never been. Good to have new stuff from Shania out now. Uh, we're talking movies tonight. We're talking local movies. And we've got John, Jonathan Zorin on from LBS Films, based in Hereford. Now, LBS Films are behind the Wyvern Hill feature-length movie that was released last year. It might have even been before. Anyway, it's been out a while, and uh, we've been having a good old chat with Jonathan about how it's been doing and what he's learned from the film releasing process and what he's going to apply to this new movie that he's making. Uh, he's learned a heck of a lot and I think he's poised, ready for a big success on this one. He's asking um, through a crowdfunding appeal for people to dive in and help out, get involved, buy a little piece of the movie, be a producer on it and be included. That's all part of the deal. That's all part of it. Um, he's got an Indiegogo crowdfunding page and if you type in derelict movie it should come up if you add a bit of hereford in there as well it will come up with the crowdfunding page and you can um donate to this cause and well join in join the club if you like uh up until the end of october or almost the end of october um i think it's sunday night the 30th it ends um so let's find out a little bit about this actual movie then jonathan called uh well i'm gonna you can tell me what's it about so the film is it another You'll horror? Be, no. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, Surprise. so I don't get to play a zombie this time. You won't. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, the thing for us is okay. with the experience we had with Wyvern Hill, we kind of got the sense that we were vulnerable by, by, by kind of doing horror as well. That kind of put us in a vulnerable position because all of a sudden you get some ruthless people trying to distribute your film and they refuse to sell it the way that it should be sold. Because the thing with Wyvern Hill is it was a, it was a very surreal film mm, it wasn't okay. it wasn't so much a traditional horror film it was a surreal film and that's how it had to be sold and they didn't so what we wanted to do we wanted to do a, a film that could not be missold so right. there is no way that this film can be missold and it's uh it's essentially um it's essentially a revenge drama Ooh. about a young woman whose father is um brutally murdered 10 years earlier but she has to live with the consequences of that um, and so you follow her in her daily life but the twist is you also follow 10 years earlier the people who killed her father so you get to know both sides of the story and so when one of them is released uh, 10 years later and she's on a collision course with him and she decides that she she wants to kill him for what he's done mm -hmm. That's literally the line. I'm going to kill him for what he's done. Uh, but the issue for you as a viewer is you've you've seen his side and you've seen her side, and <gasps> so you got to follow both. And how it ends, I will keep to myself for now. Yes, don't give it away. <laughs> well, that I'm already gripped. I'm sold. Good, I'm that glad. sounds really good. And it's called Derelict. Derelict. Um, do you have your cast and um, set we do. decided? Not not quite on the locations yet, yeah. but the cast is pretty much assembled. I mean, the main the main roles anyway. We still have a few openings for supporting roles. Yeah. Um, but the cast and crew, yeah. I mean, same crew as usual. We got Mike Coombs. We have Sarah, my wife, who's uh, producing. Um, um, Pete Bird is is in it as well. Um, uh, so is we it have, Pete we have who came in with suspects. you before? It was Mike. Mike, yeah. right, Mike. Okay. We have the usual suspects. Miguel <laughs> Sanchez on the music. But we have some newcomers as well. We have Andy Piper who's producing. Um, and we have uh, Suzanne Fulton who's um, not from Hereford. Our lead actress is actually from Manchester. Um, who's brilliant. She is brilliant. Right. Uh, we have Dean Kilby who comes from London. So... Even though the core of the production is actually based in Hereford, everybody that's mm. the core production is in Hereford, we did kind of pick... You brought in a, a few experts from, from, from around and about. Places. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. How exciting. And what is the timeline? Uh, do you have one yet? Do you know when you would so like to start filming? We know that the crowdfunding is going to end on 31st of October. So that's when we'll know if we have our funding or not. Um, and then we're hoping to shoot in January, February for the first, for the Abigail part, so the, the, lead, the leading role, um, January, February. And then later in end of March, April for the bit that takes place 10 years earlier. So you, right, so it's all planned out and you're going to yeah. film one bit there and then you've got to edit it. Yes. Ooh, that's going to be... So that's the bit that takes a bit of time. Yeah. Um, so are we looking for maybe a late summer release? 
Oh, no, I think you're looking at the December. Quite Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Well, that is very exciting. So we've got until the end of the month to help and get involved. I mean, yeah, I would mm. say, I would say, yeah, absolutely. And I, I hope that people do get involved. It's a really exciting project. And we have, um, I think what what makes it, I know that everybody sells their project on, on Indiegogo by this is the best project you'll ever be involved. And this is unique. Right. Mm-hmm. But for us, what we have is we have a portfolio and we have a history that, that shows that we have, We've made a feature already. We have that, that that feature distributed worldwide, so we are we are in a place that not a lot of people in this in this area of the world has been in before or is in right now. We're pretty much occupying a, a, a unique space, and we're asking if people are interested to come and get involved with us. And it's not just mm-hmm. about giving us money. It's also about it's also about receiving things in exchange and being involved and being on set and and seeing how it happens. And that, that's that's what it's about. Well, there must be, as clearly there are, if you've already raised that amount so so quickly, there yeah. must be a lot of film fans in Hereford that, that wouldn't have had this chance before. Funnily enough, I mean, yeah, I mean, we have, we've had we've had quite a lot of uh, of, uh, of backing from people in Hereford, but we've also had quite quite a, quite a few from people I don't even know, and quite some some sometimes big big amounts of, of money which is very surprising you know, very from, exciting yeah. well it's the project to be involved in by the sounds of things and so we we just look i mean you've got a website haven't you lbs films we have a facebook page that's LBS it films, that's yeah. social media yeah yeah and it's, it's all over our social media at the yeah. moment so you really cannot miss it um mm. that's all we talk about on the <laughs> lbs films page there's the derelict film page as well on facebook and i think we have a twitter as well i don't really deal with with this side of things yeah. but um <laughs> i've seen it though yeah yeah so if you seen it yeah. Mm, yeah well i can't wait i mean this is a really long process isn't it making a film it must yeah. be you must be a patient man i don't know if i'm all that patient <laughs> <laughs> i think my my team would disagree with that probably but um no i love films yeah so uh, if that's what it takes then that's what it takes you know well good luck will you please keep us posted let us know how it goes at the end of the month and Absolutely. you know how you've done on the fundraising and then we'll talk again once you get ready to start filming and you've picked your locations because I would, would like amazing. to yeah. I'd like to follow this if that's all right Absolutely Jonathan Zurin LBS Films raising money for his new movie Made in Herefordshire which it will be called Derelict so go on indiegogo.com and look up Derelict Movie uh, and you'll be able to help out and get involved